Hey, Wrangler 4xE fans. I'm on about day, uh, what is today? Today is probably day two or three of post update on my Wrangler 4xE. I took it in, had all the uh, updates done, and there will be a video soon where uh, Brandon Hainline and I are going to chat about what all those little updates are. But one of them, of course, you get your latching max region button. If you uh, haven't done that yet, it's a really cool thing. Whatever state you leave it in when you shut the vehicle off, that's the state it'll be in when you start it up again. So that's really cool. But beyond that, they have done something to that max region function. Um, the best I can explain it, it's like on an inverse curve. If you think of as you decelerate, I believe, first of all, I believe there's a ramp rate on the max region. When you lift your foot from the accelerator pedal, I believe there is now a, just a, a little bit of a ramp rate. And what I mean by a ramp rate is it doesn't come on 100% or whatever percentage it goes to, but it doesn't come on full strong right away. It ramps in just a little bit. And this is all from feel. This is all from watching the needle on the, the gauge. I don't have any inside information. I'm just speculating on what I'm seeing in um, that it ramps in a little bit but then also there's like this inverse curve that as you slow down it seems like the um, max region increases in grab a little bit and what i'm seeing is as i'm decelerating it when you had the before the update when you were decelerating if you watch the charge needle on the right side of your dash you would see it kind of let up as your speed, you know, it would kind of reduce in the amount of charge you were getting as it was decelerating. And of course it would downshift, so it'd be kind of hard to track it really. But what I'm seeing now is that the needle kind of holds steady, which makes me think they have put in some software that as it slows down, it applies a little bit more and it's still um, keeping track of what gear you're in because it seems to still change based on you know as it's downshifting and everything this is all I, I have no inside information i have no knowledge of what they've really done with this update but i'm just seeing something that i'm really excited about if you have disliked max region in the past once you get this update i would encourage you to try it again because i really think they have done some fine tuning and some software updates there that are, are changing how it operates so i just wanted to share that experience where i'm what i'm seeing you know a couple days in uh, i did put on a pair of uh, rubicon or a set of rubicon takeoffs yesterday and um, so i'm getting used to that different tire feel which is also nice i might add but uh, i don't think that's impacting what i'm seeing i i think what i'm seeing is all software stuff so just wanted to share that. Thanks for watching and take care.